Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another idea of subscriber commented I believe so yeah we're going to get straight into that but before we start just many many thanks to everyone who has subscribed recently we're, we are closing on that goal of 1300 day by day it's awesome let's keep up the good work and yeah make sure you keep liking and subscribing and stuff I, I, I'm, I'm sorry guys I'm just awful at doing intros and outros and stuff but anyways yeah today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be replacing or actually not replacing the sun but we're going to be changing the sun's mass to the mass of what UI Scuti has. So if you didn't know, UI Scuti is the largest star by size. So we are gonna quickly pull it out here just to have, um, compare it to the sun. So we'll just pull it all the way out here. Then we're gonna quickly do this and then go to radius mode. So as you can see, here is UI Scuti. And then the sun is all the way here. So yeah, this is a very, very small star compared to what the star is. But anyways, this has a mass of 8.5 sun so what we're going to be doing is we're going to delete that now and we're going to give the sun 8.5 times its own mass and we're going to see what effect that will have on the solar system here so first of all we'll do multiple tests with this because i want to have it with radius and composition on and off i also want to press auto orbit a few times on different tests and stuff so first of all we're just going to go ahead and do 8.5 like that so that creates a supernova so we just hit play yeah, that pretty much kills the solar system, as we can see there. So, there you go. R rest in peace, solar system. And Uranus is dead as usual. For some reason, it's the gas giant that never survives. But, yeah, there's that. So, yeah, that's what happens if you... Or if the sun did have that amount of mass. It wouldn't be able to hold it, it looks like, and then it would just explode. So, we'll try it again. So, let's go to solar system again. This time, we'll have radius composition switched off. So, we're going to do that. Now, we're going to do... 8.5 masses of sun like that now we're going to hit play or oh, no it's already playing actually so now we're going to see what it does so oh looking like mercury's orbit's changed venus's orbit has changed earth has changed so that's not looking good so oh wow look at that oh my god seems like it's definitely affecting the orbits of the objects quite a lot look at this oh damn it looks like planet nine is like the only one it's actually all right <laughs> or maybe it's said there as well actually but Everything else looks pretty ruined by this, so as we can see here, that is not good. <laughs> so Venus, Venus is pretty hot in temperature. Mercury must be very, very hot, yeah, as we can see here, 1,000 degrees. Earth is only at 3 degrees, but it looks like it's going to cool down all the way out there. So it's going into the cold, but as it approaches the sun, it probably will get hot again. So keep an eye out here. Here's the um, Haspel zone as well, so it's coming into the red area here. Now it's getting too hot, where its surface melts, then it's all going to cool down. The water will return. And it's going to repetitively do that cycle forever, pretty much, unless something happens here. So now we're going to put trails back on. We're going to just speed this up and see what we can do here. So, okay, we're going as fast as we can now, it looks like. So let's have a look. Is anything going to happen? So where's Jupiter? I want to keep an eye on that, actually, because that could have a real effect on the um, objects here. So, yeah, there's the objects. Venus is glowing hot, as you can see here. So... That's pretty crazy stuff. Let's keep going. Come on, can we go a little faster, please? Come on, game. Please behave. So let's turn that off and do this a bit. There we go. Speed it up just slightly more. So as you can see, it looks like um, the orbit of Venus there is having a very big wobble. Yeah, look at that. Wow. So that's pretty insane. So if we slow it down now, if we look here. Oh, where did it even go? Did Venus just disappear? Where did, where did it go? Um, Mercury's there. Where, where did Venus just quickly disappear to oh is it oh, that's, no that's Jupiter what am I saying Mercury Venus oh wow it got tossed all that here okay so Venus has been ejected from the solar system apparently so that's not too good how's Mars doing minus 30 degrees how about on its close approach so Mars does get into the positive temperatures as you can see there 429 so basically this makes everything go crazy doing this <laughs> so whatever you do don't give the Sun the massive UI Scotty as we can see here it just messes stuff up so look at that wow okay so let's um keep going here so anything else gonna happen okay looks like that's staying the way it is now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna reload this again no not this one no wrong one so let's go to solar system again and i do want to quickly check how much luminosity the 8.5 suns would give this so if let's go to 8.5 quickly does it do anything with the luminosity so the luminosity stays the same even if you put it to 8.5 masses of sun so Okay, that's interesting. But one more thing I want to try for this is, if we if we just um, yeah if we give it 8.5 massive sun again, so let's um, do that and then go 
8.5 like so then we just leave it like that but then we go to auto orbit here will anything happen so let's just go here and i'm assuming the orbit should stay the same so is it going to affect them in any way or is it literally just going to be like any sun but it's just slightly bigger in mass because well let's see it doesn't look like much would or much is happening here so okay is earth doing good yeah earth's doing fine okay so that that looks yeah nothing's going to happen here so hang on what if we try this so if we just if we just hit play and just speed it up a bit what if we just try manually making it bigger? So, let's just do... No, we'll turn that off because it will supernova otherwise. So, we'll just do this. Is this going to make any difference to um, what we're doing? So, it may take a while. Oh, but it's making the sun bigger here. So, that's not too good. But if we keep increasing the mass here, is anything going to happen? So, oh, it's got more luminosity apparently. So, that's, that's pretty interesting. But Okay, let's keep going to 8.5. As it gets slightly bigger and bigger. So, let's keep going here. We're doing like every possible scenario at turning it to 8.5 masses of, of um, or masses of sun, so yeah, we're going to see all the different scenarios that could happen. So let's keep going here. So this will be the last scenario since I can't think of any more ways to make the sun the mass of um, UI Scotty. So there's 8.5 pretty much. So oh wow, look at this. So Earth, you're not doing good. Mars as well, not doing good. Venus. Not doing good. Mercury looks like it got hit by the star, which I think it yeah I think it crashed into the sun. So it's not even there anymore unless it got ejected which it didn't so it's been destroyed i believe so rest in peace mercury but um venus is pretty hot look at this free fat goes up to four thousand degrees there that's that's almost as hot as the sun is itself so pretty crazy stuff and the sun's a little bit bigger but it's still not relative or not that big it's about a little smaller than aldebaran here it's yeah but compared to its original size it is a lot bigger as you can see the original sun would be that big so quite a big difference but not a big difference if you think about it so yeah there is that so let's keep going here anything else so it looks like it did a similar scenario to where we just put it straight to 8.5 masses of somewhere it like bends all the orbits and stuff planet 9 and Sedna look relatively similar to their normal orbits but this time it made it a bit more luminous and bigger so yeah that's not really what we're meant to do because we're meant to keep it the same size as the sun so that's not too good, but I reckon any even if we did put it to the same size as the sun, the mass is still the main effect on the orbits of the objects, I believe. So, pretty crazy stuff, that. So, yeah, there we go. That is what happens if you put the mass of UI Scutty on the sun here. So, pretty amazing stuff. But in the general scenario, if the sun suddenly had 8.5 masses of sun like this, it would just go bam and it would explode so yeah this is the true ending to this sort of um, scenario so as you can see it just blows everything up and incinerates mostly every single object in the system apart from the usual guys that survive so all of the inner planets uranus most of the ash or all of the asteroid belt objects then the dwarf planets survive and then yeah the these are our usual culprits of surviving so even pluto made it today which is pretty pretty cool but it's pretty small now but yeah there we go so that is the true ending to what would happen if the sun had the massive view i scotty so yeah thanks to the person who commented your idea you know who you are and yeah if you've got any ideas for another video then feel free to leave them down below and also if you got um or if you like the video consider subscribing leave a like helps on the journey to 1300 subscribers because that would be awesome and yeah that is that so yeah make sure you guys all have a good day and i'll see you in the next video Goodbye.